In this video, we solve problem of diagonal scale. First, we understand the problem statement for diagonal scale. The distance between Delhi and Agra is 200 km. Means, these are the two places. One place is Delhi, second place is Agra. Distance between these two places is 200 km. In a railway map, it is represented by a line and this line is 5 cm long. Means, 200 km distance is represent on a map by 5 cm long line. Means, 1 cm is represent 40 km. Means, 200 divided by 5. So, it is indicate the 1 cm is indicate 40 km. Find its RF means we need to find out the representative fractions. Then after draw a diagonal scale to show single kilometers and maximum 600 kilometer means maximum distance is 600 kilometers that we need to indicate on a scale. And then after we need to indicate on it the following distance. First distance is 272 kilometers, 346 kilometer. Next is 468 kilometers and last one is 589 kilometers. So, first we find out the representative fraction or a factors. So, what is the definition of representative fraction? That is the dimension in a drawing. So, dimension in a drawing is 5 centimeter long and actual distance is 200 kilometers. So, 5 centimeter divided by 200 kilometers. Means if we divide this 200 by 5, we get the answer is 1 upon 40. But here there is a more 5 0 are indicates. Why this 5 0 are added? Because we need to convert this kilometer into a centimeter. So in a 1 kilometer, that is a 1000 meter is there. Okay, so we need to add the 3 0 and remaining 2 0 is added to convert meter into centimeter. So in a 1 meter, 100 centimeter is there means when we convert kilometer to centimeters we need to multiply it with 10 days to 5 means this 200 is multiplied with 10 days to 5 so here you see that is a 5 0 r there now next we need to find out length of scale so length of scale is equal to representative fraction rf into maximum distance so rf is 1 divided by 40 into 10 days to 5 and what is the maximum distance? Maximum distance is 600 kilometers. And here again it is in kilometers and we need to convert in centimeters. So we know that 1 kilometer is equal to 10 days to 5 centimeters. So we multiplied 600 with 10 days to 5. Okay. Then we calculate in a calculator then we get this answer. It is the 15 centimeters. So what this 15 centimeter is represents? This 15 centimeter is represents 600 kilometers. So, first we need to draw a line that is a 15 centimeter long. So, here you see we draw a line and what is the length of this line? This is from 0 to 15 centimeters and this 15 centimeter length is indicate 600 kilometers and we need to divide it in a 6 equal parts. So, each part will be represent 100 kilometers. So, why we divide uh, in a 6 equal parts? Because the this land is indicate means 15 centimeter land is indicate 600 kilometers. So 600 divided by 6 means one part is indicate the 100 kilometers. So for simplification purpose we divide them in a 6 equal parts. And so first part is indicate the other unit. Okay, so here that is a we need to indicate 272 kilometers. So what that means the 200 kilometer plus 70 hectometers and 2 decameters means various 3 units are there. So, so first this 0 to 500 is indicate kilometers and again here 0 to 100 it is also indicate the kilometers. So, means in a instance of hectometers we are written here in a kilometers. So here we write down this unit it is the kilometers here kilometers. Then after divide the first division means this is our first divisions in a 10 equal parts and each will represent 10 kilometers. So here we can divide in a 
10 equal parts means earlier that is a 15 centimeter is there and the 6 equal part of 15 centimeter is the 2.5 2.5 centimeters so means this 0 to 100 is 2.5 centimeter this 0 to 100 is 2.5 centimeters this 2.5 centimeters so now this 2.5 centimeter is again dividing 10 equal parts means one part is equal to 2.5 mm and is equal to 10 kilometers then we draw rectangle for getting a shape like scale then we draw the vertical line from each points here you see we draw this vertical line then after draw a line upward from a left hand so this is our left hand and from the left hand we need to draw upper line but it is already drawn and mark 10 parts on it of any distance means suppose this height is 2 centimeters or a 20 mm and we need to divide this 20 mm in a 10 equal parts so one part is indicate the 2 mm and we need to write down this number means name those parts 0 to 10 as so on so this is the 0 to 10 parts and it is also indicate the kilometers then after joint the 9 subdivision of horizontal scale so this is our horizontal scale this is the vertical scale so this is our ninth division so, so this is the first division second third fourth five six seven eight nine and this is a ten divisions on horizontal scale so this nine division is connected with the ten divisions on the vertical scales okay so this is our vertical vertical scales this is the ten divisions okay so these two divisions are joined and we get the one line then after what we do then draw parallel line to these lines from remaining subdivisions and complete the diagonal scales means by using the roller scale or a drafters we draw the further parallel line from all these divisions means from here we draw parallel line to this line by using roller scales or a drafters so here we get the complete scale then after we write down these representative fractions that is a 1 upon 40 into 10 raise to 5 we mention diagonal scale showing kilometers okay then after we need to indicate the various kilometers so first we need to indicate 589 kilometers okay so here 500 kilometers then after other 89 kilometer is indicate on this diagonal scale so here that is a 0 kilometers okay here 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and this is a 80 then after 9 further kilometer is indicated on a vertical scale means on this line we move up for up to these 9 divisions okay so here we get one point and we draw vertical line from these points and we can indicate dimension over that is a 589 kilometers then after next dimension that is a 468 so here we get the 400 now how to indicate 68 so here 50 this line is for the 60 on the 60 we move up for up to the 8 okay so this is for 8 so here we get one point okay, and from this point we draw vertical lines then after indicate dimension 468 kilometers next we need to indicate now next we need to indicate 346 kilometers so here this is this is the divisions for 300 kilometers now remaining 46 kilometer is indicate on this diagonal scale so this is line for 40 okay and another 6 kilometer is indicate on the vertical scale means we move on these lines up to this 6 so here we get point then draw vertical line and we indicate our dimensions that is a 346 kilometer and last we need to indicate 200 27 kilometers so here 200 kilometers so from these 200 we draw one vertical lines another 27 kilometers is indicated on this diagonal scale so here 0 kilometers this is 10 and this is 20 now in this 20 we move up to this on a vertical scale up to 7 so here we get this one point so here this indicate the 27 kilometers and this is 200 kilometers so total is 227 so here we indicate 227 kilometers so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video 
and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to engineering drawings and other subject of mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends